Great, thank you. I'm delighted to be able to talk to you this afternoon on the subject of audio feedback, and I have really enjoyed the presentation so far. It's so interesting to see how many of the issues are translatable across uh, all disciplines. Um, the issue that I'm going to discuss this afternoon is in relation to the use of audio feedback and uh, its potential to enhance engagement in large student cohorts. And this presentation is based on research conducted by myself. Uh, I am a a lecturer in children's nursing in DCU and my co-researchers are Anne Kerwin, also a lecturer in nursing, and Claire Gormley, from, uh, an academic developer from the Teaching Enhancement Unit in DCU. Just to look briefly at feedback and what the literature says about feedback, just to situate the presentation, it's so important to clarify how essential and how powerful a component of student learning that feedback actually is. Um, indeed, a critical determinant of feedback effectiveness is the quality of learners' engagement with and use of the feedback they uh, receive. We would encourage and emphasise, as does existing literature, uh, a feed-forward orientation model of learning um, and this is concerned with providing students guidance on their work which highlights the strengths and weaknesses of their work and also provides them uh, actionable suggestions to improve future work. Uh, previous studies have referred to some criticisms by students of the feedback that they receive and some students have reported feedback is uh, in their opinion not fit for purpose and the reasons that students often uh, cite for this is delays in receipt of feedback render it unusable or too late uh, or that vagueness of comments received means that it is very difficult to interpret what is uh, required by the feedback. Similarly, lecturers have also experienced challenges in providing feedback uh, as it is something that needs to be delivered in conjunction with the other extensive roles that lecturers are uh, undertaken on a daily basis. Uh, formative feedback tends to occur mid-semester during periods of particularly heavy uh, workload and this uh, workload around assessment has already been alluded to in previous um, presentations this afternoon. Uh, so often lecturers become frustrated frustrated because feedback provision is very time consuming and particularly because it is sometimes ignored or inadequately addressed in further student work which lecturers feel has resulted in them wasting their time. So what we sought to do in our research was to address some of the criticisms highlight, highlighted in previous research and implement an alternative mode of feedback to be delivered to students. Uh, typically or traditionally, feedback tends to be uh, delivered in the written form. Um, as I mentioned already, from a student perspective, the timeliness of feedback is a particular issue. Um, and for the lecturer delivering feedback in a timely manner to respond to this student uh, problem, it can, can be even more challenging. And obviously, this is particularly the case when you're dealing with large cohorts of students. And in our study, we provided audio formative feedback on a draft academic assignment. Uh, why did we pick audio feedback? We felt our student cohort were a group that are very used to using technology and very used to using audio messaging. So we felt they would be comfortable and responsive uh, to audio feedback. Um, but also previous literature had indicated that audio feedback is perceived by students to be more constructive um, than negative. And this is achieved or appears to be achieved through the sort of nuanced dialogue, through the tone of voice the lecturer uses, which give the students the perception that the lecturer really cares about them and their work. As I mentioned earlier, this presentation is based on a larger study, uh, the aim of which was, deter was to determine whether audio feedback can enhance student engagement with and usefulness of feedback. And that was a study that was conducted between 2019 and 2020. Actually, we just finished our data collection just before um, the pandemic. And in actual fact, we believe now that the findings are even more relevant um, since the uh, move of uh, education to the online forum. 
um, for that extensive period of time. Uh, we had a sample of 199 fourth year uh, BSc nursing students and the students were provided with audio feedback on a draft academic assignment um, and were subsequently surveyed to determine their experiences of using and applying the feedback. Obviously, with the time constraints, I can't go into the methodology in any more detail at this time, but if anybody would like any more information, I'd be delighted if anybody wants to contact me. So we analysed the survey data using Braun and Clark's thematic data analysis framework and four key themes were identified. And those four key themes are very much interlinked. And the diagram on the right hand side of the screen there depicts how audio feedback was received and used by students. So I go through each of these themes in turn. The first theme, that of connectivity, was by far the most ele uh, powerful element of our findings. Um, it was such a strong theme and this notion of connectivity throughout the data was so strong that it was actually very challenging to disentangle some of the more subtle findings and present them in a clear form. Um, we felt that this theme represented the standout benefit of audio feedback over other forms of written feedback. Um, the audio feedback, it really seemed to create a very personal one to one dialogical experience for the students, which mimicked a conversation with the lecturer, even though the audio feedback was was only one way. There's no method in um in the software we were using for the students to respond in kind. But despite this, they still had the feeling and the sensation that they were engaged in a two way conversation. And this created a very personal, uh, a very close connection to the lecturer. And this connection through the use of audio feedback seemed to motivate the students to engage uh, with their work. Um, the, the quotes here will give you an indication of how the student actually used the audio feedback to engage with their draft assignment. One student said that hearing what the lecturer wanted or was looking for registered better with them um, and enabled them to focus on what was required. Another said it was good to listen to the feedback while reading through the assignment. So the students themselves read the assignment while listening to the audio simultaneously and, and, and that enabled them to work out what they needed to do. It provided guidance and it detailed to them if they were heading uh, in the right direction. An interesting finding, which was a surprise to us, was that further to the students than themselves engaging with their feedback was the feeling that the students got that the lecturer had also engaged with their work. And that really meant something to them. It was very powerful to them. And it made the students feel that the lecturers cared about their work. It made them feel that the lectures, lecturers had thoroughly read their work and that they really wanted to help them to improve uh, the quality of their work. So there was a strong sense of engagement um, with the work themselves um, as a result of those particular factors. Um, as a result of the connectivity and engagement with the feedback, the students appear to have an enhanced understanding of what was expected of them in the assignment and an enhanced understanding of how to deliver on the expectation. Uh, what was particularly insightful for our work was a number of students, and we didn't ask this specifically in the survey, which was a, a flaw, but a, a, a number of students disclosed a diagnosis of dyslexia and stated that they found the audio feedback particularly useful to them them because they found the interpretation of written feedback uh, quite challenging. The culmination of co connectivity, engagement and enhanced understanding was a sense of validation for the students where they felt really encouraged, they felt more confident in their work and a number of students did say that the audio feedback lent validity and provided validation to them that they were actually on the right track and that they were going in the right direction with their work. From a lecturer perspective, knowing that the audio feedback was of value to the student was a re really beneficial and it made the time it took to give the feedback worthwhile. It was also uh, quite time efficient to deliver the audio feedback because you can talk much faster than you can type. So um, it's, it's estimated that one minute of talking equates approximately to six minutes of writing. So a lot more feedback can be delivered in a lot less time. 
in saying that, I must be honest uh, and, and, and admit that the time it takes to read the draft assignment doesn't really change uh, whether you're giving written or audio feedback. So that takes the same amount of time, but the actual delivery of the feedback is much quicker. Um, and I do think this is an important factor, particularly when dealing with uh, very large cohorts of students. So at the outset, I posed the question as to any was anybody listening and whether audio feedback might enhance student engagement uh, with their work. Um, and I believe our study very strongly indicates that students do listen to the audio feedback. They do respond to audio feedback. And one of the key reasons for this is that the audio feedback seem to be a, a multidimensional, multisensorial method of delivering feedback which in addition to providing the information the student requires to enhance the quality of their work, it also seemed to simulate almost a pastoral role um, and the, the, there was a personal touch created using this audio feedback. And a number of the students in the survey referred to something as simple as the lecturer calling them by name in the audio feedback um, and how that created this pers personal touch. Again, we argue that this is very, very relevant to large student cohorts where it can be extremely challenging to develop any form of personal relationship with the student in many situations situations, you don't know the students' names, um, and it can be really uh, beneficial to the student in terms of their engagement with the module and with the um, assessment process. So just to leave you with a quote, one of the quotes from the study, uh, one student said that it was the best feedback I have received in a long time, would love to see more of this type of feedback in the future. Thank you very much for listening.